Thank you all very much for uh, your attention today. This is the last session. I hope I can, we can make it uh, useful and valuable for you. And uh, thanks to Exchange for Media for choosing ProManage for the spotlight session. We'll be coming up with the, sh we, have a, we have a short pitch that will explain to you uh, the most, perhaps the valuable cohort of an audience there is. And uh, so which is the digital hyperlocal discovery and engagement, which is what we're calling the golden goose of marketing, because this is what would give you a golden egg for free every day. So what if there is an audience out there that is huge, which is about 70, 730 crore times a month, they are accessing something, looking to buy something. Second one, it is free of cost, in the sense you don't have to spend one penny in terms of the media cost. The third one, it is, it is inclined to buy something, whereas most of the other audiences are there looking for something else. This is an audience that converts five to 10 times better. And finally, unlike other media, this audience, you can identify who the audience is that over time, even if they don't purchase today, they can over time be inclined to buy what you're selling. And this audience is the new digital world order, as we call it. This is the local search audience who are looking to buy something, a product, a service, or a brand, or a business, that they're looking to buy something. And most brands today are ill-equipped, about 90% of the brands today are ill-equipped because their local presence, as they are present across the country, are poorly managed, that they're leaving money on the table, foreclosing, uh, sacrificing or growth uh, things. The main reason for this is primarily because they lack the technology to be able to manage these local listings of their physical presence across the country, across multiple digital platforms, which are the discovery platforms such as Google and Bing and Map My India and other places. Right? So the four payoffs of using technology to be able to manage how people discover you on the search platforms will protect and enhance the brand locally. It increases visibility and it, increased gen it also helps you engage with these audiences and finally to build a robust marketing funnel all for a fraction of the cost that people spend on paid media. So the enhancement is that today when it comes to especially the discovery traffic where people are looking to buy something locally, right? most brands today have a very narrow top of the funnel and a very narrow, bo narrow bottom of the funnel and a lot of haziness in between. So what is possible is without having to spend any money on the media cost, you can widen the funnel at the top you can widen the funnel at the bottom and structure the and structure your prospective audience based upon various interests, right? So there are multiple payoffs for this one, which includes brand consistency, fidelity of information, increased visibility, and overall improving the brand use, usability and business growth. Right? So most of the things, for example, if you look at the this is the typical audit of a brand. And this is true for 90% of the brands out there with physical presence is that their representation of their business across these channels is flawed and incomplete, inaccurate across multiple attributes, even something as simple as a phone, phone number and the lat long and other things. Right? You can see here some of the actual examples of things where the brand image is an irrelevant picture from somebody has posted and attributes are not updated. The listing itself is not claimed by the business. So it is an orphan listing. Right? If you look at other things, the, the business, uh, the phone numbers are not updated. The reviews, when people post reviews on Google or Google other places, they are not replied with both positive and negative. 
So these are the various ways in which the brand is compromised because of the neglect of the local presence of your stores, your bank branches, your locations and other things. So the four dimensions of hyper-local digital excellence are one is to be able to claim your listings, to be able to ensure that the information is accurate and they are distributed across multiple platforms. The second one is to optimize this listing so that among the top search results in the local listings, your brand appears. And thirdly, to be able to engage with these prospects when they come and engage with a brand, either they chat with you or they make phone calls with you or they download your map locations or post reviews. Right? And finally, integrate all of this with your internal ecosystem so you have a full view end to end of how a prospect converts to a customer. So how do businesses, how do consumers look for you? How do they discover you? They discover you through search platforms. They discover you through map app applications. They discover you through voice. They discover you through transport. You sit in Ola, Uber and they look for you, right? Or you buy a car and there's a console that comes. Just now we heard somebody, uh, the CM of Aether, talking about how there's a Google map in an Aether scooter. They discover you there. So either you go and make sure that your listings, which are hundreds and thousands, are across all this, these platforms, or you plug into a, a tech platform such as ProManage, which then uses its APIs to distribute all of your listings across all these platforms with one click. Right? And you should all, you'll also be able to protect these listings from getting corrupted by users and competitors and others and so on. The second one is it is not enough if you are present on these platforms, you also have to rank high. And for that, it is both art and science. The search intent has to match, the proximity has to match, and the authority of the thing should be high, and the flux has to be there, which is positive changes to the listing. And finally, high velocity of positive reviews, and the brand responds back to those reviews. And when you do all these things, automatically, your local listings, wherever people are searching for, it will rank high, and you'll get free traffic. When we said it is the golden goose, every day you get traffic without you having to spend one cent. That is the value of it. And the last one is, as and when people come, they come across multiple channel mode combinations. You have multiple channels, multiple modes in which they come, and they post reviews, they chat with you, they make phone calls, and all of these things are where in which you can actually, today using AI, we spoke so much about AI, we can actually understand what people are saying using AI and to be able to put them into clusters and then correspond with, correspond with them based on what it is that they're talking to you. There has been tremendous advances in AI whereby you can do all those things. You can actually know what the, each individual prospect is looking for and to be able to market to them one-on-one. -on -one. And again, I want to emphasize this to you. This is an audience that is looking right now to buy what you are selling, what you are offering. Either they are looking for you or they are looking for the category in which you are offering. So there is an immediate purchase intent. The second thing is, please keep this in mind, that it is free of cost. You don't have to spend money to be able to appear on the radar screen of these people. And so we, we have serving today, ProManage is serving today, 60 brands across them. Some of them are very familiar brands. We have Sri Ram, we have ICICA Bank, we have uh, Punjab National Bank, we have Apollo Diagnostics, DHL, TV Zero Grip, and uh, we have other ones like uh, Indian Terrain, Bata, Raymond, Titan, Domino's, Cafe Coffee Day. And all of these, these brands have one thing in common. They have a vast nationwide presence and they have difficulty in being able to optimize and control them and to distribute them across multiple platforms. So we are, I'm also very glad to let you know that uh, this value creation for these brands has won accolades from multiple uh, media houses.
we're also highly ranked on G2. So there is a lot of uh, recognition of the value that can be created. I am on the last slide, and this slide we hope will impress you a lot. Sorry, last two slides. We shows that because of this, an average, uh, average retail location of the customers that we manage in a month gets about 1,377 visitors on the profile of each listing. And how much are you paying for this? Nothing. Right? And if you look at other things, for example, in, in education, 266 people are looking at the profile of each school or a college or a location. And, uh, and the second one is, how many times are... Uh, Sorry, this is, the, this is the engagement actions. My mistake in this one. Engagement action is number of times people are calling the location or they're downloading the map location or the third one is they're clicking on the website or the fourth one is they're chatting with the location. 1,377 times you're able to get prospects engaging with each of your location paying nothing. Right? If you look at... Uh, in education, uh, it is about 266 engagement actions and 1,912 visibility actions, right? All are seen by people who are looking to buy the service today, right now. Otherwise, they won't be searching, right? And the last one is, if you look at it, we, we, have, we have compared what it would cost uh, hyper-local digital delivery, which is in, the, in, uh, in looking at... Uh, Education, they pay about 168 rupees to generate one action, whereas in, when, in, in our clients, they're paying the average cost it is costing them is, is actually two rupees to generate an engagement action. Because it is all search traffic, it's organic traffic, it is paid traffic. So you can compare this across all these things. If you look at the retail, it is 224 versus 60 paisa per rental. So any which way we look at it, our submission to all the marketing folks here is that the search audience at a hyper-local level, where even this morning when we heard the CMO of Carrot Lane say, hey, 90% of my sales still happen offline. Even though the search initiates online, the thing happens offline. And the cost of intersecting and appearing on the radar screen of the people who are organic search, organic means free search, is a minuscule fraction of what it would cost when you pay to get the traffic. Right? So it behooves all the marketing folks to look at how to tap the hyperlocal search discovery audience, which will deliver to you high conversion at literally zero cost. So that is what uh, we had to, to share with you as a spotlight session. Uh, we thank Exchange for Media again for choosing us to present this to you. Thank you very much. And if you would like a free custom audit for your brand of how it is performing at a hyper-local level or a proof of concept trial, please uh, exchange this and uh, thank you very much. Thank you.